Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Bill. Uh, today's video is going to be about the current news of the week. Uh, since I don't do the daily videos, I'm always behind on what's going on as far as the up-to-date information as it's happening. So this will help you guys get caught up, especially if you're not paying attention to the dailies. Um, we'll start with uh, Cobalt Press and Project Black Flag. Uh, it has been released this week that It'll be backwards compatible with 5th edition. Uh, sort of the way Pathfinder 1E is backwards compatible with Pathfinder, or not Pathfinder, with D&D 3.5. So this would be Cobalt's Pathfinder 1E. It'd be their, their version, their own thing called Black Flag. Uh, so if you enjoy playing 5E, but you don't want to support Wizards of the Coast anymore because of their... Um, backstabbing nature then you could transfer into black flag easily enough without a huge amount of rule change at least that's my impression right now without having any game release for us to play test yet but towards the end of the month they're supposed to have a play test version available and i am signing up for it even though i don't play fifth edition i definitely would support cobalt press now let's jump into uh, Wizards of the Coast news. The OGL that they have uh, left in place, they never added irrecoverable, ah, unable to take away to, and they didn't release it into the creative comments. So I'm thinking, and I could be wrong, that when they do release their next edition, that they will uh, try to take it away again. If that is the case, then be prepared and be ready to fight for it again. Uh, for what they have actually released in the creative comments about 5th edition, from what I have gathered from other YouTubers that I follow, uh, they haven't actually released all of 5th edition into it. They only released most of what would have been open con content anyways, and just a little bit of the magic and some of the monsters but i could be wrong it could be all the magic and all the monsters but either way I, it looks like they didn't release everything into the creative comments if i'm wrong put it in the comments below and i will definitely say okay well i'm wrong on this if i'm right well i'm right uh now if you're fed up with all this there are some other games you can check into i've introduced a few uh, over the weeks. Here are some more to add to the list of games you can look into. Not all is going to uh, appeal to you, but uh, these are ones that I've either seen in some detail or actually played in. So if you're interested or you've played in a game that's not on this list, there's no offense to you. I have my only limited knowledge and experience on this end. So if your game wants to be added, like the game you enjoy, Put it in the comments below. Let's add this list so people can take from it what they will and play more games and enjoyable games. So the first is Index Card RPG. I have not played Index Card RPG, but it is on my list to buy this year. It, from what I gather, will be a great addition to my bookshelf and fun around the table. I have played Vampire the Masquerade and Werewolf the Forsaken. I would recommend those if you're more into storytelling games more than anything else. Uh, Werewolf has a little bit more combat than uh, Vampire, but they're both pretty much predicated on not letting the normals find out that you're there. Starfinder's a great uh, Paizo game for adventures in space. Uh, Fate is also a good system and game for space but I do not own or have played Fate. Basic Fantasy is a free fantasy game for those that want to download it and play it. And they're coming out with an addition that is not going to be directly uh, using anything of the old sources from Wizards of the Coast. So if they do take the OGL away again, they will be unaffected by their newest release. And then there is the Easy D6. This is created by the uh, YouTubers, the DMs Craft and the GM 
the DMG info uh, guys. Uh, I'm looking into that to also add to my bookshelf this year. Uh, DM Scotty, the owner of DM's Craft, is a great guy. He got me into crafting some terrain for D&D. And then the DMG Info got me into making pretty much tiled cardboard uh, terrain to use for dungeon delving. I need to expand my cardboard tile dungeon delving, but it is what it is. Maybe when I can get a better camera set up, I can actually film me crafting some of the stuff. And then I can add the crafting into my channel the way it should be. Well, these are the few that I got at the moment. Like I said, if your game system you play is not mentioned, just put it in the comments below. Uh, I'll try to add more games to the list every, just do like three or four to five games on a list every time I do a news update just to keep more game names coming out there and more interest being spread around. Well, until we meet again.